Hi guys, Lynette Zhang here, Chief Market Analyst at ITM Trading, a full service physical gold and silver brokerage house. Before we start on the um, GLD and SLV, can they see this? Yeah. This is the last head of cauliflower out of my garden. My daughters and I will be eating this this weekend, but I'm very proud. That's why I brought it in. So anyway, we'll, we'll tell put that aside. Tell uh, they might your audience might not know that you just you're really super into gardening, so you should probably. Well, uh, and the reason why I'm super into gardening, actually, that's more important, is because of what's happening in the monetary system, and so the mantra is food, which becomes the absolute top issue: food, water, energy security, barterability, and wealth preservation. And it's those last two, the barterability and wealth preservation, that um, gold and silver performs. But this is this is our food, and this is why I never really was a gardener until 2010. So, and I'm definitely still learning. Um, but that's why I'm doing this, really, more than any other reason. Okay, so, thank you, Eric. So, now on to the point. Now, GLD and SLVs are gold and silver ETFs. A lot of people have the misconception that if you buy GLD or SLV, you are now buying gold or silver. Well, you know, in my opinion, this is just one way to manipulate the markets. So I'm going to show you, first of all, from the prospectus. You know, if you're going to buy a fiat money product, do yourself a favor and actually take the time to go through the prospectus because when you do that, what you're actually buying are shares of a trust. You're not buying gold or silver. You can't convert those shares into gold or silver. You're not an authorized participant. But the other thing is that I'm going to show you this. I'm going to tell you first and then show you. Eric, can you hold this up? Because I, I printed another one so I could read. The amount of gold represented by the shares will be reduced during the life of the trust. And basically, it's to pay their fees. So over time, it's actually a diminishing asset or instrument. It's not even an, well, okay, that's a matter of opinion. But it's a diminishing instrument because over time there's less and less gold and or silver in, per share in there. So that's where some of the misconception has been that they don't have any gold or silver in there. Um, this is just a little list of some of their different fees. Okay, but now let me show you what I just told you. First of all, we're going to start with, with gold. And this is a list of all of the different um, gold ETFs. ETF stands for Exchange Traded Funds. It's a reasonably new product. Uh, the interesting thing for me about this chart is here's Spot Gold, okay, which is Wall Street's manipulated version anyway. And can you see the pattern and how they track? Okay, now... I'm going to tell you that some of this is going to be my opinion that I cannot prove, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Because this is just paper and because most people buy it through a brokerage house, if the broker says, well, you should sell this, you are more likely to comply. And that can push the price of gold down because we've seen over and over again that the, that the real physical demand is escalating even as the spot price declines. But that also means that the authorized participants, like the big kahunas that always play these games, Chase, Wells Fargo, you know, all the same names, have the ability to buy physical gold somewhere below the spot market. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If you hold that up, Eric, that is a relative performance chart between spot gold and GLD. You will notice the blue line is GLD, the red line is spot gold. And you can see over on the, well, my right, I'm not sure what that would be, but oh, over yeah. here on the chart where those two lines are right on top of each other. So that's when that first came out and they were, they were not taking fees out of it for a minute or two to get you used to it. 
So can you see this big divide between here and there? That's because they're selling off gold holdings, okay? And that's why I say that it is a diminishing instrument. So not only can you not convert it, but you're also getting less and less underlying the shares of the trust. We see something similar, but basically even more interesting in the silver ETF because these are the holdings of the silver ETF and look at the spot market, okay? So even in this is kind of interesting that the spot market would be impacted, but it's the same kind of thing because the, the registered participants or the authorized participants rather have the ability and you see the same kind of pattern. In this particular case, you've got SLV in red because that's just the way it came out and uh, the spot silver price in blue. And so the difference between the two is them selling off holdings and reducing the amount of the metal that underlines each, each share, okay? So I hope that clarifies GLD and SLV. I don't own any. I personally don't recommend it because it's just a fiat money product. And it's the same thing. It's held in the system. It's, it is less expensive, frankly, over time for you to actually buy a real ounce of gold or a real ounce of silver. And you hold it in your possession. If you, if you intend to hold it long term. Correct. Yeah. If you're doing it short term, definitely. If you're doing it as a trade, then that's a much cheaper way to do it. And there are other ways that are even cheaper to do it. And, you know, if you guys want, I can do something on that. But we already have pieces written on all the different ways and webinars on all the different ways to do it. So, yes. But if this is as a long-term hold, I mean, this should make it, just these two charts alone should make it really clear that, you know, all you have is a piece of paper that is being reduced in value. Just forget how the spot market moves just by the fees alone. All of these will be in JPEGs that are in links underneath this. So subscribe to us on YouTube. We'll let you know when we're doing these live events. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And we'll see you the next time. Oh, by the way, too, I wanted to let you know that the new 2008 was just a warning has been posted to our archives. So if you click, haven't, if you click on in the nav bar on our website at itmtrading.com, click on the i uh, the little tab warning, and then that's the landing page for the intro, and you can click to watch the whole video. Perfect. I'm really proud of it. So go ahead and take a look if you have any questions, or if there's any other way that we can be of service. We here at ITM Trading work together as a team. 888-696-4653. 888-696-4653, and I'll see you next time. Bye.